What's up little babies? I hope you are having the most amazing day ever. So listen, this sober life, this clean and sober life, this drug and alcohol free life, this junk is hard. I'm going to tell you, it is so hard. You have to have a plan every single day to feed your mind with goodness, to feed your body with goodness, to feed your soul with goodness so that they can all connect so you can live wholeheartedly so that you can be happy so you can choose joy over every situation because you're going to have things come up that are going to remind you of your past that trigger you and you got to have a plan so that whenever they do you can execute it so i was just walking on the walking trail it's back there it's a public trail people ride their bikes people run so i'm just walking the dog and this dude is running and he runs up right behind me and every time somebody walks up right behind me or runs up on me pretty quickly it automatically sends me it triggers me back to the to the night that this one dude whenever i pulled up at a house i should not have been at he ran from around my car and he pulled it out his gun and he po poked it in my ribs and tried to rob me so every time a dude especially even if I'm at the Wally World, comes like walking up really fast behind me, I automatically, paranoia kicks in. My anxiety gets really high. My palms start sweating because it takes me back to those days. I'm telling you what, paranoia is real because I don't experience it like I used to, but meth makes it so heightened. I used to think that all the cars were following me and that the FBI was chasing me and all these things, but that has kind of leveled out. But there is, I'm still working on this stuff. Like there's stuff daily that you're going to work on. And it's hard. It's hard to deal with sometimes. But you know what? I just got back in my mind. I'm like, I'm amazing. I am sober. I'm alcohol free. I'm drug free. I am doing amazing things. And I immediately speak life into myself so that the anxiety can go low. And then I immediately take a look at my surroundings and watch the wind blow through the trees and watch the birds fly. And I saw a dragonfly. So I'm aware of my surroundings in that manner in the nature manner to keep my mind off of the paranoia like I know that dude wasn't going to try to get me, but because of what I've been through, like my senses automatically take me there. So little babies, listen, you're going to have things you're going to go through in this sober life. It's not easy. You're going to have triggers. You're going to have things that are going to make you want to punch somebody in the face. You're going to have things that are going to make you want to cry. It's hard, but I'm telling you, if you can have a plan to execute, like I just told you, Get yourself out in nature. Look at the nature. Like put something positive on your in your mind and do things that bring you joy. You gotta figure out what that is because you're gonna have hard days. You're gonna have hard days that are gonna send you right back to those street that street life that you lived. Be prepared, y'all. You got this. You got this. It's not for the weak, but I know that you have what it takes. You just have to say, life, you will not break me no matter how hard you try to take me back to my past. You won't break me. I hope y'all have the most amazing day ever. And don't forget, go out and make some strangers smile for me.